Been trying to get all of you. Good morning. I need this. And by this, I mean, I need this declutter. I just need it to be done. And I need this matcha. Nights with three little boys is always an adventure. Someone's always awake and a few of them were awake last night. So we're just, we're just gonna keep on going, all right? I'm decluttering my home today. Even when I clean the house, it still looks cluttered and I'm feeling just stressed by our environment right now. I'm only two months postpartum. So it's not been at the forefront of my priority list because I've needed to preserve this energy and not overextend myself in my home, which is something that I'm really good at doing. <laughs> I mean that in a good way. Like I love a good, clean, peaceful home and it just hasn't felt that way in so long. And I just know I need to declutter. So we're gonna do that today and I'm going to charge myself with my matcha. I've talked about this matcha before, you guys. You know I love it. It's the Sun Goddess Matcha from Peak Tea. I don't drink coffee. I'm not a caffeine gal, which is why I love this, because when I need it, I know like my body is still gonna be okay. I'm not gonna have this massive crash. I'm not gonna get the jitters. I'm gonna get an antioxidant punch. And, and, my skin loves matcha. So in this season of life where I'm not sleeping a lot, this is kind of what I reach for daily. Quadruple screen, four toxins. I just have so many good things to say about it. There's a reason I drink it. I've drank it for years and why I keep coming on here to tell you guys about it. I tried it a few years ago because people were like, look at my skin, it's glowing. I have amazing energy levels. And I was like, okay, give me that, please. For the last two weeks, I've had multiple mothers in church come up to me and they watch these videos, so I cannot lie. They know this, but they've come up to me and they've said, Margaret, you're like glowing. Are you sleeping? You look so well rested. And I'm just like. Have you heard of peak tea? <laughs> I don't do that. That's annoying. But I should. Because I see a notable difference in my skin, my energy levels, and just like my vibrance when I'm drinking matcha. Not too much. Just enough that like my body thrives with it. You know what I mean? Okay. This declutter might take me two days. That's just going to be fine. Anyway, I have a link if you're interested in this matcha, which again, it's so worth a try. 15% off the Sun Goddess Matcha, and you can get a complimentary free beaker and a frother, like a super nice frother, on subscriptions over $105. Great holiday gift, great Christmas gift, great tool to use through the holidays as well. <laughs> okay, that's all I have to say. I've gone on far too long. I need to declutter. Will you let me declutter? Will you let me do my work? Or do we need to hang out? <laughs> okay, I always start with my kids' toys on these big decluttering days. I feel like this is the biggest pain point in our home. Just kids' stuff everywhere. I can always tell when I need to declutter their stuff because it's just never fully put away. This is where we keep most of our toys. It's very minimal as you can see, but because of that, if it's excessive, if there's clutter, you can see it and you can feel it. So I'm gonna dump out each of these boxes. I'm gonna make sure we have intentional pieces in each. I have one for magnet tiles, one for costumes, and one for miscellaneous items that they like. And I do this when they're not around. My oldest child, he's six years old. Sometimes he likes to help me declutter and sort through things. But what I've realized is that ages two, three, four, they don't understand decluttering. They don't understand, hey, I don't play with this ever. So why don't I give it to someone else who might really enjoy it? They just see these things as mine. And so they always wanna hoard them. But with my six year old, I've seen him grow out of that habit and say like, yeah, you can give that to someone who likes it. So that's why I do this when the kids aren't here. Side note, I can't believe how many golf balls my family accumulates over a span of a few months. I haven't decluttered in a very long time and I'm just always, I'm always blown away by the golf balls that show up. But this is feeling so much better, so much nicer and neater. I need to put something, maybe some more baskets here or something that makes it look more beautiful. It's a work in progress. Obviously, I'd like to close shelves because that makes it look so much less decluttered, but this is what we have for now. I'm grateful for it, and I'm gonna make it work. My desk, you guys, look. And I claim to be a minimalist. This is unbelievable. This is like our catch-all 
desk, this and the kitchen counter, the two spots in our house. I'm so tempted to just get rid of this because I know if we don't have a landing place, the things will go back into their homes where they belong. Like stuff is just falling everywhere. This is an issue, it's a pain point. It always makes our room feel and look messy. So today I'm gonna tackle this, find new spaces for these things, find their home. Like that is the bread and butter to simplifying your space and making it stick, is making sure that every piece has a home. And over the last eight weeks, I haven't done that. I haven't found homes for these things. And so they've just accumulated. Let's get to work. Let's finish this up. He's so cute. He's so happy. I love you. I'm so glad you're here. You're not the reason for the clutter. It's my fault. I'll fix it for you. Okay? Aren't these just the cutest little shoes? Someone gifted these to us. And I can't wait to put them on baby Rory. Wires. Ugh. Wires are such a pain point. Find the exact thing they go to. Put them in the same place. And stop letting them control your life. Like they control my <laughs> drive in the car for a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay, if you followed me for a while, you'll know this looks different. This used to be next to my bedside table. I mean, to my bed. This is my bedside table. But now Rory's crib is next to the bed. So this is next to my nursing chair. I like to keep something that I'm reading right now on the top so when I'm nursing, that's what I reach for more than my phone. Right now, every moment holy, they're just Liturgies for day-to-day -day things, they're just so encouraging. They put everything into perspective. They even have one about changing diapers and how that's such an act of serving the Lord. Just as simple as changing diapers because through serving our children and keeping them clean and nurturing them, we ultimately are serving the Lord, living with purpose, doing what he's asked us to do. I just, I love reading this. Like when I'm exhausted, this. When I'm frustrated, this. When I'm doing so great and I'm really encouraged and I'm so happy, this. It's, I will always have this in my home. All these other books I love and I want to keep and they'll go down here. I'm a huge advocate for keeping your nightstand so simple because that's what you're next to when you're sleeping. If it's cluttered, you're gonna feel cluttered when you're going to bed. There are studies that say that is the truth and I believe it, I feel it, I know you do too. So in here are just books that are lifelong books for me. This is like my only collection of books. You guys wanna see that? If you're interested, I'll show it in another vlog. Let me know below. But I have like Pray For Your Kids, a fiction book that I have read so many times and I wanna to read to my kids, prayers for parents, Lord knows I need that. My kids' journals, promptly journals, and some health books, you know. That's like me in a nutshell, right there. Yeah, love that. Happy about that collection. Keep it simple. And I would even say this, like when someone looks at your bookshelf, do they understand you a little bit better? Like that's when you know every book is intentional. Love that. This will stay here. That feels good. On to the next thing. This next one, so easy, but so essential and influential in your kitchen. 
Tupperware. Yeah. I need to go through mine. We got so many meals for the first few weeks of postpartum, so I have other people's Tupperware. I have missing pieces to mine, and it's all just jumbled up in there, so we need to fix that. And I don't know a person who doesn't have a non-essential piece of Tupperware. Like, everyone has that floating lid. They're just like, where is this missing piece? Well, it's not gonna show up. So just get rid of that, okay? My best tip for this is always just to keep them together. Keep the lid on the body. Make sure they dry fully before you do that, otherwise it'll smell mildewy inside. But this is how you know what pieces you have, what pieces you don't have. And this is really sad, but I have an awesome glass one that I just don't have a lid for. So I need to get rid of it because it's just it just takes up space. I never end up using it. So I'll donate this one because it's nice. Okay, this is our walk-in area, and I thought I was being super smart, getting this and putting it on the outside of the door, but for the past few weeks, we've been trying this out, and it just makes this whole entryway feel cluttered. So what I think I'm gonna do is put it on the inside of our whole closet. This is like where the backpacks go and the purses, and it just inevitably became like a clothes hanger, which is not the purpose. There are hangers on the inside. So I'm walking you through what I'm processing. And then I also need to clean this up because our seasons are changing. It was the summer, so we have swim stuff up there and now it's fall, winter. So I'm gonna get rid of things that we didn't use the last year, make this a little bit more stick and span. Our shoes that we don't wear all the time are down here. Those need to go, plenty of those need to go. And then I have our decluttered items back here that I need to get out. Now, this is just, it's so messy. I desperately need this to change and shift. I like that. That's a nice little hack. Let me show you. This is where I hang all of our bags, and normally I would have the hangers, these hangers facing this way, so the bags took up space like this, but I just put them, kind of like twisted them a little bit. I don't know if this is making any sense, but it totally works. See how the bags are now like that in my closet? Digging it, that just saved me a ton of space. about my children's clothes. This looks like a ton. And honestly, I feel like it is a ton, but I've only purchased about 5% of the pieces that you see in here. The rest are hand-me-downs from friends and family. And when I receive a huge bag, just of free clothing, I happily take it. And I also save things that maybe don't fit them now, might fit them later, so that I don't have to continuously buy things for my three boys. But because of this, I feel like I just have a little bit too much. They're not having success in the morning, picking out their clothes. They feel like they have too many options and laundry is just, it's too much right now. We just need to simplify. They need to repeat their outfits and I'm gonna help them do that by taking a lot of these pieces out. So the top, those are all our baby clothes. I definitely need to switch them out because he's growing like a weed. The bottom rack is for both boys and the top left rack that you see there, those are all of the pieces I'm going to keep for future years. I have this big Tupperware box too, and this is the only box I will give myself for extra clothes, either for clothes that I'm keeping when, I'm, when my baby grows out of them for future children, or clothes that the boys are in between sizes on, but I'm only letting myself have this one box because of how easy it is for me to get carried away with my kids' clothing, because <laughs> I just think they look cute in everything. 
but it really doesn't make my life easier. It doesn't make it easier for them in the morning. So this is going to feel so nice when I get it done. our dinnerware and our drinkware. It's so nice, especially when we're emptying the dishwasher to have everything in one cabinet. But at the same time, it gets cluttered super easily. If we just acquire a few tumblers here, my child made an insanely cool dragon mug and I'll be keeping that, but it can just get cluttered very fast. And I know for a fact that we don't need a lot, especially if we choose to hand wash each of our plates after every meal, we don't even need this much. So I'm gonna declutter a little bit, make it a little bit easier, a little bit more functional for our day-to-day -day wear. One day, I'll have beautiful aesthetic and matching items, but in the season of life with three young boys, I'm honestly not worried about this one bit. We do have to get creative when people come over for dinner, but they don't care either. It's all about the company, it's all about who you're sitting around the dinner table with, not about beautiful matching pieces. Although again, I can't wait for that day, but it's just not right now, and that's totally fine. Okay, y'all, this is so funny, but I just had to move it like this so you could see. I've decluttered my closet, my clothes so many times, but these bins of like socks, underwear, camis, workout stuff, they're, they're mm, unmanageable right now. And I wanna do this super fast because my baby's awake. I wanna start making dinner. Tate's gonna be home in about an hour. And I'm just tired of decluttering. I need my second round of matcha. I'm gonna do it after this. So, I'm gonna start with things like this. Like, I maybe, look at this. I maybe wore this one time in my life thinking I would wear it again. Absolutely not. No, I've kept them because I wanna, you know, what if Tate and I go on a little trip? When are we gonna go on a trip without our kids? Literally, when? I'm in my birthing years. Are you laughing at that? Are you laughing at this? I would too, honestly, I would too. So that's the kind of stuff I'm trashing. Stuff that I'm like, oh, Maybe one day, but I'm in my motherhood years. I'm in my wear things that you can mother in era, okay? And also my body has like gone out and expanded and come back in. I just need to respect it and wear comfy clothes, okay? So we're just gonna make this really quick. super into working out, still am. My joy is working out. I actually love it. I love how it makes me feel. I used to have so many workout clothes. Now I only have one workout skirt, one pair of workout shorts. These are literally the best ones I've ever found. And they're on Amazon, not expensive. One workout tank top. The leggings that I have on, sometimes I wear my tank top, sometimes I wear my husband's t-shirt, but that's literally all I need. I've done the excessive workout stuff. This just makes my life easier. I know it fits, I know it works well. Try it. Seriously, try it. Try living with less clothing. It'll change your life. It works, so at the bottom here, I hold all of my microphones and random tech stuff. I put it in the bottom of my workout bin so that my children don't find it because that has happened. And then I put my hats in here too. Done. I just need to take my sweats out. I need to get rid of the very, very unnecessary bathing suits. And this is good. This is really good. We're done. I'm done. Oh, feels amazing. Okay, put these away. Let this also be your soft reminder that just because I'm on YouTube and Instagram doesn't mean my stuff is all super beautiful. Like you just saw those ratty bins that I have. That's just like the season that we're in until we can put our budget to decorating, but it's like, it's holding my socks, underwear, and bras. Obviously I want something more beautiful, but I'd rather purchase and invest in other things 
that have more importance and more value. So I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't be worried about it if you don't have beautiful things. That's just, that's normal, you guys. It's so easy to be on social media on this side and on the viewer side and just think that everything needs to be aesthetic. Uh, that's not the case. So, little reminder, I'm done. I'm gonna go make meatballs and sweet potatoes and a nice salad. Just a crisp, crisp, delicious salad. That sounds great. See you guys.